welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll show you how you can fix the can't sign into Microsoft Teams error code CAA2000B on Windows 10. Microsoft Teams is a reliable product offered by Microsoft like its other services, but recently Teams login errors such as error CAA2000B is being reported by many users on numerous online support forums. The problem arises when a user tries to log into his or her account. The error is extremely frustrating as it prevents users from using Microsoft Teams, which ultimately stops their education or business work. This creates an unfavorable experience for end users as it directly affects their work. The error notification is shown on your screen right now. So what causes can't sign into Microsoft Teams error code CAA2000B? We have listed down some of the causes of this problem after reviewing the user's feedback and technical authorities in detail. This problem may arise due to any of the listed reasons. The first reason could be outdated Microsoft Teams. Old versions of Microsoft Teams may not be compatible with updated Windows 10 thus creating unfavorable circumstances for a Microsoft Teams application to run properly, ultimately causing this error. Second, corrupted cache. Everyone knows how much harm corrupted files could do to your installed applications such as well as to your computer. Corrupted cache data blocks authentication certificates which ultimately cause this error. Third, bad internet connection. This is another key reason for the Microsoft Teams application to show this error. A shared or weak internet connection may hinder the login process. Another reason could be incorrect date and time. Microsoft applications, want Microsoft applications work relative to the date and time. Privacy and security patches also get updated relative to date and time. Therefore, if the date and time is incorrect on your PC, then you are most likely to get the error under consideration. Certain websites may even refuse connection from your internet. The other possible cause is Azure Active Directory. The error may also arise when your organization is not complying with the Azure Active Directory configuration policies. These policies are adopted to enhance both security and privacy. The last reason that could be the cause of this error is Windows Credentials Clash. Most users are not aware of the fact that Microsoft's database is different for both Windows account and Office 365 account. Users may be using the wrong credentials, that is Windows credentials, for Office 365 applications. And that ultimately caused this error. It is important to note before attempting any solution, quit the Microsoft Teams application from Task Manager to ensure you won't lose any data. Furthermore, please sign into Microsoft Teams using web browser to see if you can sign in there. In case you can, this error is strictly because of your Microsoft Teams desktop application. So first solution that we are going to adopt in this video is to reset internet settings. As discussed in the causes list, bad internet connection or faulty internet settings may cause this problem. Users were able to resolve this issue after they had reset network settings. The steps to reset the internet settings are click on start menu and search for internet options. Once you see the results, click on internet options. Switch to Advanced tab and then here you can click on Reset. Windows will now initialize resetting all internet options, discarding all the settings that were made to them. Once you have reset settings, launch Microsoft Teams and try to log in. This should fix the problem. The next solution that we have is to clear Microsoft Teams cache. As discussed in the causes list, corrupted cache data blocks authentication certificates which ultimately cause the error under consideration. Many users have reported that resetting or clearing Microsoft Teams cache data helped them in resolving this problem. In this solution, 
methods for both Windows 10 and Mac have been discussed. Kindly follow the steps followed by your operating system to fix the issue. The first operating system is Windows. So Windows 10 users can right click on the taskbar, click on task manager, look for Microsoft Teams, right click on Microsoft Teams and kill the process. Click on End Task to kill the process. Now open File Explorer by pressing Windows and E key. Go to the location which is percentage app data percentage backslash Microsoft backslash Teams and backslash cache. Once you go in there delete all the files which are present in this folder. You can do it simply by pressing Ctrl A and then clicking on delete button. It's better to press shift delete keys together on your keyboard so that these files get deleted permanently. When you're prompted with the confirmation just cl click on yes. Now you need to repeat the delete steps for all the locations that we have listed on the screen right now. Once you have deleted all files, try running Microsoft Teams and then try logging in. This should fix your problem. In case it does not, then proceed with the final solution. For Mac OS users, quit Microsoft Teams and copy paste the following location and type in the following location address in Spotlight Search and press Return. This will take you to the hidden folder named Cache that contains cached files for Microsoft Teams. Select all files by pressing Command and A keys together on your keyboard and permanently delete all the files in the folder by pressing Options plus Command plus Delete keys. Now repeat the delete step for all the directories listed on your screens right now. Now select the Finder application, click Utilities on the Go menu and then double click on Keychain Access. Find Microsoft Teams Identities Cache and delete it. Once done, try running Microsoft Teams and then logging in. This should fix your problem. Now we have the final solution. If none of the provided solutions have worked for you, then you can try Clean Uninstall and then reinstalling Microsoft Teams. Close Microsoft Teams if it is running. From the Task Manager, kill the Teams process. Once done, go to Control Panel and then go to Program Feature. As a shortcut, you can go to Run Command, type app viz.cpl and from there you can select Microsoft Teams and then click on Uninstall. Once the uninstall process completes, press Windows and R key to bring up the run dialog. Type percentage app data percentage. And from here, search for teams and then shift press shift and delete keys together to delete this folder. Now in the address bar, type program data percentage from this folder. Go to Microsoft folders and then from here search for Teams folder. And if you find it, just delete the folder. Once you are done with that, open official Microsoft Teams page. 
from here you can download the desktop version install it and this should finally fix the problem i hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel